management plan, lack of commitment, when you're not committed, you won't get it. So when you're committed, you won't allow other things to be cloud that uh, process. When you're committed, if, uh, after now, you just say, well, you're on it, and you go with that first seal. You know, remember in the 70s when I got born in here, and there was a seal for me, preach to wait for you to see. Read every Bible you see. So we buy Bibles. Any new one coming to the market, I will buy them. Like that. Seal. Caught me. <laughs> that's by the way. But that's it. If you've got some information today and you want to get started, you go with that push and you maintain it. Committed to it, you'll get to your goal. But if you keep the book under your shelf, say, well, ah, this thing is hard, but I'm going to do it. I don't even have 500 naira or 50 naira to pay my way to the next school where the next teacher is. Maybe tomorrow. Or let's see. Next week. This week is a little busy for me. What are you doing? That seal is waning. Before you know it, you will feed your hands completely. And uh, we call. Have you been to your mentee? Ah, oh yeah. Somehow, I think I'll be doing that next week. Are you getting me now? Yes. When you're committed, <coughs> commitment is part of it. Trust, we've talked about it. Weak mentoring capacity. If you have a weak mentoring capacity, please ask your next door. Correct? If you know you can't carry, there's, there's something we do in mathematics which has to do with carrying capacity. Hmm? If your carrying capacity is low, please ask somebody else to be fit up with you, support. Ask another mentor around. May not be a mentor in your subject area. Good enough here to be in the same school. Partner with him. And he will sharpen your skill. He is, in fact, going to also mentor you to be able, for you to be able to mentor somebody else. It's a chain. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't <laughs> mind. All right, so, benefits. I say that, for my experience, teachers, mentoring provides opportunities to refresh their skills, deepen their knowledge, or extend their expertise into a new area of work. Three, four things. Refresh their skills, deepen their knowledge. As I teach, then sometimes I have to teach a course I have not taught for a long time. But there is a particular course I taught and became an expert somehow, which I never did at undergraduate. Even at postgraduate, I only used it to do my research in computing. Right? But I'm teaching it now. The next one, I teach it to postgraduate students. Right? But they never taught me at undergraduate those days. So, when you teach, you're refreshing your skills. You're deepening your knowledge when you mentor. You deepen your own knowledge. When a preacher preaches, sorry, I'm a pastor, so sometimes I'll talk about this. All right? When you're preaching, you're preaching to yourself. Some things you may not even have realized you're talking to yourself about. When you teach, that's what happens. You deepen your knowledge. When you say, well, I've known it. Oh, no, you won't grow. So I said it provides opportunities to refresh their skills, deepen their knowledge, or extend their expertise into a new area of work. Mentoring provides professional development for the mentor. Provides that for the mentor. Okay? Mentors can help new teachers improve their teaching skills, increase re resiliency, and enhance communication skills, and boost their self-confidence. Those things are here. Benefit from the mutual exchange you do as a mentor, Benefits for mentees. Mentees provide, uh, mentoring provides mentees with enhanced coaching 
someone to talk to regarding issues. That's a very important one. I can always call on my friend because I have difficulty in doing this or doing that. I can always have somebody to lean on. You get me? But if you remove your shoulder by not providing the confidence and the trust, you see him what? Crash. Alright. It provides mentees an opportunity to build critical interpersonal skills that encourages individual career ownership. Benefits still for mentors. Mentoring enhances interpersonal and coaching skills. It helps you to relate to people more personally, uh, with skills that are critical to the success of school and the educational system. Mentoring allows for the direct application of school objectives, vision, and core values. Mentees can also give increased exposure, gain increased exposure and visibility with principles. If you look back at what we said, networking. By the time you're relating, you know, it's like, uh, okay, somebody, Professor Bitman was the one who brought me to you know, to the foundation. He's late now. Okay? Now they refer to me as late. As chairman. I was a member. Those that went in the Utero Foundation started. How? Because I related with Bipon. In intervention programs we used to have for mathematics and English teachers in those days. We used to mount programs for mathematics and English teachers during long vacations in various senatorial districts sponsored by some companies. We used to do that. Now, by getting to him, he now exposed me to something else, for larger, which become, became larger. And when he's gone, when he went, he left, I took on. So the mentee gains that exposure. Are we getting it? Yes. Mentees receive insight into the school's culture, structure, and object, objectives through their mentors. All right. Finally, benefits of mentoring again. Mentors can gain the opportunity to, to share their knowledge and skills in developing others in the school. You have some sense of achievement, don't you think? Yeah. You understand? For example, you coach somebody as a mentee and he wins a prize. He wins a prize. What do you do? Nothing, but you just feel happy. Mm -hmm. When I supervise a project, for example, I stand up and comes and give the person A in that project. I feel good. Don't you feel so? Oh, yeah. So it gives you that air of achievement. Mentees gain a better understanding of what is expected in order to advance examples, specific behaviors and skills. And then, you don't have 10 minutes again. Uh, because our time is up. Yeah, but, but I've been good to discuss the possible benefits for you as a teacher, mentor, your mentee, the student, and the educational system. Benefits of teacher mentoring uh, already discussed. Uh, for students, easier learning, more effective learning, capturing what is done for the educational system, more experienced educators. Improve teaching techniques and methods. Disadvantages, limitations of teacher learn, teacher mentoring. I think you can look at all of them. But maybe we'll spend two minutes to talk about coaching and mentoring. Uh, we see one is contract, one is long term. The other is time limited, the other one is not. The relationship develops and so on. Uh, what's your idea of mentoring? Have you have you had a mentor? What qualities can you identify in him or her? What are the key features? 30 minutes. Do you have 30 minutes? Or we don't. Okay, we're supposed to have finished in one hour, right? right? And then 30 minutes we do the other thing. Okay, but let's have a little interactive session. Or will we have it all together later?
have 15 more minutes. All right, so let's do an introduction now. For all that we've talked about, can we look at um, what's your idea of mentoring? Experiences, can you share your experiences? What qualities can you identify in him? Short, short interactions, not long talk. Your example takes two minutes to stop you. Fifteen minutes means uh, maybe uh, four or five persons to talk, not more than two minutes. Is that okay? The other experience you want to share. And people, I'd like to announce to you that you won't win a prize, a grand mentor prize, until your mentee wins a prize. You know that? Yes. So this coaching has to be intensive. This commitment. But the commitment is not supposed to be tied to anything. It's supposed to flow. The one that flows naturally is the one that can impact. But the one that has something, some, something, you know, ahead, is the one that may not impact so much. We are doing it for a particular who not necessarily to help the mentee to be effective in his teaching career. But let's have your experiences shared now. Do you have to kickstart? Maybe those who didn't share the other time. Who wants to? Yeah? <clears throat> Thank you, sir. Victor Matthias, my name is Kenneth. Coming to secondary school, say, call about my dear people. <laughs> Mentoring to me means bringing somebody who is not that experienced, who doesn't have much experience in that particular area. It is more or less bringing him from where he is to where he should be for better and for his own betterment and that of his profession that he is coming to do. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Yes. Lex, do you have some friends? Okay. Uh, I don't know. Yes, Come on to this. Um, in my secondary school, I need to teach biology. Okay. I, I had a mentor who, was, who is very, very humble. He was stupid by name. He came in to teach us that we need not depend on abilities. Even as a mentor, he was very humble to listen to us. In fact, in the course of his mentoring, he came up with a it helps us to identify amongst us that there is somebody that knows even much better than himself. And that person is my able <laughs> I call him I call her my mentor, even though we were mentored by somebody, but he, she is good. When I mean she is good, she is good. Mr. Bay was very humble to listen to us. Sometimes he will ask us to teach. And at the end of it, he will tell us what you have just taught. I did not know myself. Even though I am almost retiring, I did not know this aspect. So I learned that humility from him. And he's very intelligent. So the mentor must be humble. Mm -hmm. That's an attribute. Okay, good. Must be humble. Of course, we talked about being proud. So the opposite of that is humble. Being humble. Humble. Yes, next. Who wants to say something? All right. Good morning, everybody. My name is Dick Collins, as well. From my grandson of his school, Mr. Uh, even though I don't have a mentor, I came into this competition just last year. 
of my own identity that I got. But I believe somebody that is a mentor must be somebody that has open mind, must be receptive, must be open to the problems of his mentee and have uh, the experience to address that problem so that the mentee will have something to gain. He must also have a character. Want somebody that has a good character. Humility comes in here and the uh, ability to embrace the problem of others and find a solution for it. Thank you so much. That's the second opportunity. All right, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. That's another economics? No. Biology. Okay. Oh, yeah. Good morning, all. Mm -hmm. My name is Kevin Sook. I teach biology in secondary school too. Oh, okay. Do I know your face? Yes. Okay. As a mentor, I think one has one must have a big picture. The big picture is the goal that you need to achieve. It is not just about mentoring someone. Why are you mentoring the person? I think that should be the drive of every mentor. The big picture. Okay. For the educational system, we want to see our students getting better. And he will be better than us. But we cannot do it on our own. So we need other people you know, to be in place to help the students to be better. Very good. Thank you very much. That's a good one. The main goal. The goal is to better. Of course, we talked about it at the beginning. The goal is where you want the students to get to. And you know you cannot make it alone. Are you getting it now? You can't make it alone. So you need others. As many as possible. That's why we say you should have up to seven. Four, between four and seven teachers. Between four and seven. I think if we were to replicate this thing all over the state, we won't have problems in our educational system. The problem is like what happened at um, government technical school, where some people who are not students decide to wear uniforms. <laughs> <laughs> they decide to wear uniforms. All right, go ahead. I'm talking for the second time. Richard Alpha from US. Okay. <clears throat> A, the role of a mentor should be a mentor should be accessible. By being accessible, he should allow those he mentor, his mentees, should have access to him or her. And even the students. Because as a mentor, you are mentoring your students. Your students should have access to you. You should learn the characters of your students, even the bad ones and the good ones. Let them have a focus, have you as the, as, as the role model for them. No, you're not talking to them, you're talking to you. Okay. <laughs> Um, I, I, I was using yes. the case of the students. Uh -huh. Let they emulate you and feel to emulate be like me. you. Okay, emulate me yes. and feel to be like me. Yeah. Because I sometimes told them, if you want to dress like me, you will look into your books. That is what will give you resources to be able to accommodate yourself. Second line. I like impacting them to them. A case that they will come back to me when they have difficulties. As the class work, once they have the difficulty in understanding any approach to my field of study, they will come back and we handle the problem together.